watching Outdoors with Jason Smith. Now the point of this is to what? Watch the cork? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, if you, as you pop it, it makes a sound like a speckled trout is popping at some bait or chasing it, and it gets the attention of other trout that could be in the area. And uh, they'll hear that popping sound, and the, it'll draw them to the cork, and then they'll yeah. they'll end up eating the shrimp that's underneath. Well, we're using a popping cork with live shrimp, and we're fishing down in Portersville Bay and out around Grand Bay, fishing around the points of some of the islands there. And it, as you get into the cooler weather months into October, the trout start to transition from being out in the open waters in Mississippi Sound. They move into some shallow water, so we're fishing in that four foot range, three foot range as far as the depth. We're using a cork to keep our bait just off the bottom so we would avoid catching croakers and trash fish and things like that. And we were targeting the speckled trout as they were making their migration towards the shallower waters as the water temperatures were cooling with the beginning of fall. You know there were 20-foot uh, waves during Katrina right about here? Probably was a really bad place to be. But it's interesting how all this looks pretty much about the same. The hurricanes didn't do a whole lot of damage to the landscape. It's just the houses and everything that got really yeah. hanged. Matter of fact, some of the Dolphin Island houses, pieces of them are probably out here somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure Bobby's probably found some of those houses out here. They might be good places to fish. I wonder if he's found that guitar that washed out of my house. <laughs> We've been trying to do this for a while. John Ed has got a little bit of time on his hands now and has been wanting to go fishing with us. And this summer it's just been so hot and the fishing's not been all that great. Now it's cool. It's a nice time of the year to be out on the water. And the fish are supposed to be biting too, but they're only biting John Ed's line so far today. <laughs> We're on a little, what, Marsh Island or something here? And uh, are we officially in Portersville Bay, or where are we? We're officially in Portersville Bay. Uh, we're out here. Not Coffee Island is going to be due west of us about yeah. four or five miles. We've got Code Inn Beach right there, Shell Belt. And... Where's Starbucks Island? Now, I don't know where Starbucks Island <laughs> is. You looking to just pull in, whip in, and get you a cappuccino real quick? <laughs> yeah. Those waves give you a little false bump, don't they? Yeah. John Ed, you got the most fish, you got technique or anything? Yeah, you hold your mouth like this, you know? And as long as you can keep your mouth in that position, you just jerk every once in a while. John Ed is into fishing about like I am into golf. When I go out and play golf, I probably won't play all 18 holes. Uh, I might make the turn. I, I may take a, a couple of shots off. I, I definitely, he, he's just not into it like Bobby and like I am, but he loves being out on the water. And so he fished some and then he took it easy some. And, and I think he had a great time. There you go, Bobby. Bobby's got something. Back out there in the, the lee over there. Yeah. Bobby, keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Hey! Hey! Way to there go. He is. I, I think we've got a second keeper. I tried to tuck us a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, I couldn't even get my backlash out. Are you hooked? Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. I got a, oh, I got a, I got a little net special here. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to. Uh, yeah. Keep it. To at least. There we go. Here we go. That's the thing about these TV guys, John. Uh huh. They, uh, they love milking these pigs in the water. Like this. Yeah, did they just hold you know, it up? We didn't have the camera on. You know, he would have swung that fish up here so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he had another fish. <laughs> nice little fish there tucked oh. in here behind the backside of this island. 
A lot of folks ask that. What is the lee side or the lee shore? That's the side that's protected from the wind. If, you have, if you're fishing the windward side of the island, that, the wind's blowing right towards that island, and it can be very choppy there. But on the back side, on the lee side, it can be very calm. Now, sometimes the fish will be on the lee side, and sometimes they'll be on the windward side. Sometimes uh, a wind will drive bait all the way up to that island, and the bait will be stacked up against that island, and the bait fish and the forage fish, and, and then the, the predator species like the trout come in and feed. But other times, the, the trout may not be quite as active and on this particular day. That was definitely the situation, and they were back around on that lee side sort of spread out. We catch three or four here, two or three there, three or four over here. We had a couple quality fish tucked in back here. There you go. No, no dice. John Ed, you know it's the second fish I've missed today, and I hadn't missed two fish on the same day since 1968. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby just missed two fish in the last 10 minutes, and he hasn't done that since 1968. You, you voice that like you're doing a commercial. That's a that's a Portersville Bay wall hanger. <laughs> <laughs> when you start right. getting up around that size in Portersville Bay, that's a Portersville Bay wall hanger right there. Jason Smith will be right back with more outdoors action.